Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Arctic, and today we have a bit of a sapling issue. So let's go ahead and work on that. Also, we're gonna be making an elevator today. I hope you guys are ready. So I got back from a mining session, and as you can see, I went ahead and made a diamond pickaxe here and enchanted it and ended up getting efficiency four and fortune two which was really handy because I found just one vein of diamond and it ended up netting me like 17 diamonds from the one vein. I think it had five uh, ore in it, uh, individual ore. And then I also went ahead and got this ax as well and enchanted it and got efficiency four on it and unbreaking, which I can't ask for any better for um, uh, an ax. I mean, efficiency five would have been the greatest, but I mean, it allowed me to completely chop through that entire tree thing in record time. And look at all these logs, but that is just oak logs. And I don't I don't think oak logs is the greatest block in the world. It's, it's really not. So I think we should honestly diversify our tree farm. Now, not all trees grow like oak, which is understandable. But this tree farm supports, I think, almost all trees. If not, we can modify it and remove a whole section and make it so it supports everything. I think the only thing that would cause issues is the glass on top, but I can break all that. I don't have an issue doing so. Um, and I think we have a silk touch shovel that is down below, which I could use to collect all the glass as well. I think a shovel will collect it if it has silk touch on it. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to experiment. But with that being said, I think we should go, like I said, diversify our tree farm. Um, I am lacking in armor. Uh, I did die. I died right in here. So my dumb self was farming. I was AFK farming in, the, in here. And yeah, I have tons of stuff in here. We'll, we'll go over that eventually. Um, and I, I was just sitting here and I come back to the computer after hanging out with my kids and stuff doing, you know, doing dad stuff and Yeah, I found out I should probably take those. Those are actually cooked. I accidentally threw them in there um, But I died. So I was like, oh bummer Well, almost all of my items that did not make it into the hopper despawned Yeah, I know it was it was heartache. I, I was in despair I, I, I almost started crying, but I, I, I held my I held it in but I decided, you know I should probably build a roof. I should probably cage this in so I put this little roof here And I have to leave this open because this does have to have access to the sky for higher chances of catching fish So I left this open now. I shouldn't expect any mobs to jump. I hope I could be wrong, but I think most mobs Will not but I was killed by a drowned which kind of had me bummed out, because that means a drowned come out. And I at least was hoping that I was killed by a phantom or something. But it, it, I wasn't killed by a phantom. I don't even know if a phantom would even try to go down there. But anyways, I, I've, I've only seen a couple phantoms, and the phantoms that I have seen, I've completely slaughtered them. I haven't even I haven't seen them on camera, just mainly because I, I do sleep a lot, and the only time I don't sleep is whenever I'm awake and coming back from the FK farm. Anyways, well, let's go. And like I said, and we're going to go look for some other wood types. Now, I remember we went this way and there was, uh, there, there was a, uh, what is it called? The, um, the temple thing. I, I, I don't know why I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head. Uh, but yeah, the, the temple where you get prismarine, that is that way. So I remember there was nothing there. It was just all ocean. And this way we've already explored quite a bit. But this direction, we've not really explored too much in this direction. So we, I may end up doing that. But before I do that, I do need to probably go down here, grab a few of the potions, water breathing potions, just in case I need them. You never know whenever you need some water breathing potions. And by the way, somebody did suggest making the, uh, the water column elevator. We will do that eventually. We haven't done it yet, but we will do it. Um, I need to figure out how exactly I'm going to set it up. I think I mentioned that last episode that I want to do it, but I, I have a certain way that I, I kind of want to get it done and I have yet to do it. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to work on that. I'm going to work on that. But first let's grab our water breathing potions. And then, uh, I guess if we see any kind of shipwrecks, we can go explore them. And then from there we should be pretty good. So yeah, I have a bunch of stuff in here. Let's go ahead and make some more. Uh, those don't need to be wart, right? That needs to be fish. Good old puffer fish. There we go. And here are the two water breathing potions that I want to take anyways. 
And I think I think those two should be fine. I think we should be fine with that. And we're off. So I think we're probably gonna be generating some new chunks, which I expect a little bit of lag, just simply because I think 1.13 is just not as optimized as it, it probably wanted to be. I, I, I don't know. I, I just feel like that's the case, most likely. Uh, with all the minor details and, and, and issues that I've had just thus far, just in a single player world, which is kind of crazy. Normally I don't experience that many issues in a single player world? I don't know. It, it, it's it's a thing. It's definitely a thing. Look at the turtle, man. He is way, way away from the beach. Oh, and the dolphin. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. I think dolphins were such a amazing addition to, to Minecraft. I think the water definitely needed a huge overhaul and we received it. Oh, and it's phenomenal. Um, but I do know something else. Oh, wow. I don't think I've been over. Oh, wait. This is I think this is just an island. I think. I don't know. Oh, there's cows over here. Maybe this isn't just an island? This is actually a pretty big island. And if this is the case, we could probably make... Make the case to, to come over here and explore. To explore this. Right? Yeah, it's a, it's its own island. That's actually kind of nice. But that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for a big body of land. And something that's not surrounded by, you know, like a, a desert or a savanna biome, anything like that. Uh, by the way, the, uh, there, uh, there's apparently going to be a new update that you can vote for uh, at, at, for during the uh, the Minecon event, or the Minecon Earth Live event. And I, I've heard several different things. There is a few different biomes that they're apparently wanting to update, one being the desert, one being the taiga, and I don't remember quite... I don't remember the other one, but those are the two that I was looking forward to. The desert being definitely one that needs a overhaul, uh, for sure. The desert is pretty plain. I never see myself uh, messing around with the desert unless I am, you know, mining out a ton of sand. Usually it's it's specifically for that one purpose. But it is an option. But the Taiga one I just watched here recently, and I posted it on Twitter... And there is some really cool stuff that's going to go in there. One being foxes. And I think the taiga biome is actually a really nice biome, by the way. Oh, here are some saplings. Here are some saplings. Uh, I plan on trying to get as many of the saplings as I possibly can. So even if it is birch, which I may have some birch at the base, I don't know. I am going to grab some of the birch and hope that I get a couple saplings by the time we leave this island. Uh, because apparently somebody told me that birch stripped logs look really good. I mean, I guess they do. They look okay. They look okay. I don't want to carry them around and then take up extra space in my inventory, but yeah, they're 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 okay. Well, I'm sure they have I'm sure they have their purpose and they can be used in uh, some decent builds. I'm almost positive I can come up with some ideas for that. But yeah, let's see. Do we get a sapling out of this tree over here? Is there a sapling yet? If not, we're going to work on breaking the leaves until we get one. Oh, there's one right there. I want two. Can we get a second one out of this tree? Wow, it seems like, seems like that's a no. Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right, so that was just a little taste of some different, different types of wood. What is this over here? Oh, no way is that... Oh no, that's a mushroom island. There's no way. I gotta avoid those bubble columns there. That almost got me. That's a mushroom island. We have already found a mycelium island here. How cool is that? I've, in all my time of playing Minecraft and playing on any, any servers, anything, any, any Minecraft Let's Plays, I have never stumbled upon one of these. Never. That is crazy. And there's also a shipwreck here, which is even cooler. Oh, wow. Look at all the iron. Got a little bit of lapis. Nice. I don't know if there's any other chest here. I've heard people say that there should be close to three, but I think that's on full shipwrecks, not partial ship shipwrecks like this one. I do want some of this uh, this dark oak, though. I want those saplings. I want a dark oak sapling. Oh, but wow. I, I have a silk touch pick, so I can actually take some of this home with me. 
take some of that mycelium with me. Oh, look at the mushroom. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. Hi, little fella. I'm not going to bother you today, but I do know where you're at. Oh, there's another one. Oh, this is so cool. This is so good. This is so good. Hi, guys. How are you doing? How are you doing today? You, uh, you up for a screenshot? Because, uh, you're totally going on, uh, on Twitter. Oh, now you guys want to turn away because you don't want to, you don't want to see me. I understand. I completely understand. But you're going on Twitter. I, I, yeah, that's awesome. I've never found one of these, though. Is this another, uh, another area? What is this? Is this the back part of this? <gasps> oh, there's more. There's more. There's a door. Does this actually go underground? I've not actually, like, tried exploring any deeper. I know people say that there... There's usually more to this. Wow, they're, they go in detail with this thing. This thing is, like, seriously buried underground. Wow. I almost want to recreate one of these ships. Oh, yeah, there is. There's more. This one's... This chest is... Well, it was empty. It just hadn't generated the loot yet. Oh, yeah, and we got a buried treasure map. You guys know what that means. We get to go on a buried treasure hunting adventure. Like we've done several times before. Yeah, I think that's about it. Just at this point, just kind of destroying the whole boat. I, I'm glad I found another chest, though. At least I looked. I could have just left it, let it be. Alright, let's back out of here. Let's see what this buried treasure map has to offer. I think we are pretty far off. Um, the bottom, so, so people gave me some, uh, some help here. And if we look at what direction we're facing, you see west, north, the top is north on this map. So, as, as, as you see, we are south of the location. So what we need to do is we need to head this direction anyways. I'm super excited that we found this biome. That is awesome. It's a rather large one, too, with several mushrooms on it. That's super cool. <laughs> I will not let that down. Now, I know this is a bit just to stop here in the dark, but I just want to take a, they take the time to acknowledge this glorious sight at night. Oh my, is the coral in this area immense. Look how much coral is over here. That is an insane amount of coral. I know where if I need it and I need to farm this stuff, I know where I'm going. Uh, that is over here. This is crazy. Look at all of it. I've not seen anybody's playthrough or anything where they've encountered this much coral. Like, this is insane. Wow. Like, unbelievable amounts of coral. Whoa. Anyways, we're coming up to a uh, an island. Uh, it actually looks promising. This is a um, uh, this is a swamp, a swamp biome. But it is pretty dark, so I don't know if I'm gonna go on the uh, the island yet. I think I'm gonna wait a little bit until uh, some sunlight arrives. Look at all these turtles. You know what I've yet to see, which I don't know if you have to make turtles do it, but I have not seen turtle eggs, and I don't know if turtles breed. If you have to breathe the turtles or something, um, I've not not been able to do that yet. So I, I don't know exactly how that even, that that mechanic even works. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments. I'm almost positive you guys will let me know. Um, but I, I I don't know. I've not seen turtle legs, so maybe I'm just going crazy. Uh, but anyways, let's go take a look over in this direction. See if we have any other wood types other than birch on this area. All right, so this looks like a birch forest, like straight up a giant birch forest. And birch is not what we're needing right now. Far from what we're needing. But over in the distance, we might have some other tree types that are not birch. So I'm going to take a look over there. And remember, this whole trip is not about hunting for shipwrecks. I mean, even though we found some along our way, we're trying to diversify our tree arsenal. So uh, that's what we're mainly after is our trees. Now, I need to remember where I put my boat here. Otherwise, it is going to be a, a, a long trip back. 
Um, I kind of know my roughly where my uh, my base coordinates are, so that's not going to be too difficult. I am pretty far away from spawn. I'm like 1,400 blocks away from spawn, so a compass really doesn't work very well for me. But I'm just going to continue in this one direction, and hopefully I don't forget which direction I'm going in. Let's take a look. I think we're going west. We are going west. So my, my sense of direction is on key. It is on pitch, so we are doing good there. All right. Oh, is that... Is that it? Oh, it is. It is. I thought that's what I seen in the distance. That's a dark wood forest. Oh, yeah. We have hit the jackpot, guys. Uh, so what we need to do is look for these these trees that are on the outside. We're going to, for one thing, collect the uh, the wood because we have yet to find one of these trees. Um, but I'm going to collect the wood and hope that the saplings drop from this because... Yeah, we- I, I need four saplings to get this thing to grow. These trees are a little weird on how they do- the, how they work. But honestly, you don't need much from them. So I'm gonna continue to chop down these trees. Oh boy, and it's getting dark on me. Which is not good. Not good. I don't want to have to fight all night long. Should have brought a bed with me. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna continue to- to get as much as I can here. And there's one sapling, and then make my way back. Oh, come on, give me some saplings. So, we only have two, I think, two more tree types to find, and I've already found one of the two. Right here. So, right here is up on this mountain, where there's just a little bit of snow, which is actually just on the other side of the dark forest, which was just on the, uh, is literally just behind this mountain. I've just been following the water and kind of following the uh, shorelines, but look! Oh, that's right, it's spruce! So, we have spruce, and the only other one we need is jungle, and I think jungle's probably gonna be the hardest one to find. Mainly because jungle biomes... They're just... not... The, they're just so hard to find. They're just... literally, they're just everywhere. They're everywhere, guys. Um, or they're... they're I'm saying they're everywhere. They're not everywhere. They're, they're so rare, is what I'm trying to say. Um, if my brain let me put two and two together and let me talk correctly, that would be awesome. Um, but yeah, we're <laughs> we're trying to get things last saplings. There we go. There's one of them. Um, I can I can get rid of the gunpowder. We can use that. Actually, you know what? Gunpowder is a little more. It's a little nicer than this, this ingots or this nuggets. So, wow, that's that's a really nice archway there. Um, but there is a couple more. I I don't know if I want to stick with just one or get two. I don't, I honestly think one. Is probably enough at this point. Um, like I said, the only other biome that we need to find is a jungle biome. I don't know if we're gonna find that this episode. I honestly, I have no idea. Um, I think maybe if we continue going in one of these directions, we might stumble upon one. But I'm getting pretty close. I'm getting really close, by the way. To, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Forgetting where I, I'm actually located. <laughs> I may accidentally forget. I, I don't want to lose where my, my base is at. That would be horrible. But I am getting pretty close. So I got back with the only, only tree or only sapling that we did not get was the jungle one, which is okay. We'll eventually find a jungle biome. I'm, I'm eventually. We will find one eventually. Just not yet. Uh, but I do have something that I wanted to do. But those sea pickles that I did gather earlier, I think what we can do is get a water, water breathing potion. No, not, not, let's not drink water. Let's not do that. We'll jump down here, and I want to experiment a little bit with these guys. So, the more you put, the brighter they get. So, if we kind of, like, vary the, uh, the intensity, we might be able to make this look even cooler on the outside of this build. Uh, uh, by the way, there's a skeleton down there trying to attack me <laughs> from underwater. How crazy and ridiculous is that? So yeah, we can just kind of uh, spread these out. Kind of making it look like uh, there's a little bit more life to the edges of this uh, this little area. Because over here, it's not so, so nice. It's just kind of bleh. There's not too much going on where over here there's like a whole coral reef and all that good stuff. So I figured just lighting this area up, kind of getting in between these guys would make this look really good and kind of give more more life to this area 
And I wonder... Having like sea pickles right there. Even around the dome. Doing that. And especially down here. Like places where things are not bright at all. Would definitely help. Wow, there's a structure over here? I didn't even know that. Is there a chest inside this? I don't think so. No, there's not a chest. But, man, that's it's a actual, there's, a, there's an actual structure there. Wow. How'd I miss that? So yeah, I have a few, a few of these pickles, like... They're so funny, like... <laughs> let's just call them sea pickles. I mean, I, I think they're sea pickles in real life, but... Do they emit light? Is that a thing? Is that an actual thing? Am I just oblivious to the fact that sea pickles exist? And I just never knew about that? I don't know. And there's our ship. Um, I wonder if we can kind of light the front of the ship and give it a bit more light and we could probably see it a little bit better through all this. Now there should be sea pickles over here somewhere already. Simply because everything's lit up. Yeah, there's sea pickles on the coral itself. Which is really nice and gives it a lot of light over here. There we go. And then kind of do the same to this area. Kind of lighting these things up. And that, that'll do it. That'll do it right there. So we lit this area up a little bit and we can actually see it a little bit better. So hopefully when we're inside here we can see that a ton more. So people were saying, by the way, in the comments, this is not a bridge chosen. This is a tunnel. It's a tunnel going underwater. All right, I'll, I'll give it to you. It is a tunnel. It is a tunnel. I'll call it a tunnel. Um, but it's also an underwater bridge. <laughs> but anyways, also in the comments, uh, I've had a few comments and you can see them right here. Yeah, those comments right there. And that one. These comments uh, were suggested over the past few videos and we're saying, Chosen, why don't you go ahead and make an elevator using the new water mechanics. And into that response, okay, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll actually do it. You guys have been suggesting it. Why haven't I already done it already? Well, I need to figure out a plan on how to actually go about doing this. And one of those needs to be, well, not, not doing that. Is that gonna break the beds? I bet it's gonna break the beds. Nope, it doesn't break the beds. Wow, the more you know. That is really weird how that just completely stopped it with the ladder there. So what I'm going to do is actually have a ladder going down the center. That was one of the plans, but not having ladders here. So I got to be careful when replacing these ladders. For one thing, I need to fix that hole. There we go. To get the water out of here, because that, that was not the plan. That was not the plan. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and break most of those. Um, but the center ladder is going to prevent... It's going to prevent the water. Boy, this is actually... It's going to be a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be. Like, breaking ladders is not that easy, actually. Especially when you have a, a pick or an, an axe that breaks ladders as fast as mine does. Alright, we're getting pretty close. Let's see. Can I, can I stand here? Break ladders this way? That probably would have made a lot more sense earlier. Alright, and let's go ahead and get rid of these beds. <laughs> that, was, that was kind of a weird thing to have down here anyways. It does soften your your fall, though. I mean, it, I gotta admit, it does do that. Alright, so we're gonna have this going all the way down. And what we need to do is we need to set up the bubble columns going on each side here. Right? Like so. Now, one side needs to go up. This will be the side that goes up. We'll do the right side going up and this side will be going down. Oh, these actually need to go one deeper. One more, one more down. Otherwise the water will get caught and you guys know how that goes. Yep, yeah, ow. Did not want to stand on hot coals today. Okay, so with that being said, that should make a bubble column that will stay as long as we have some water here. And uh, we need some other way of getting higher, so getting above this section. If I put water here, it will will go down there. It will work, but it'll look kind of funny, I think. I mean, we can we can try it, having water here, and then we would be able to just go up the flowed section. 
uh, which I don't think would be the greatest thing in the world. But we could, actually, you know what? We could set up something else. Let's try this. We can close this whole thing off. From the top. Um, let's get my slabs. I know I have slabs laying around. Also, I need a bucket. Let's grab a bucket as well, because we're going to need water. Might as well get this whole thing done. Um, so, what we can do is actually set this whole area like that. Then our water can set here, and that is genius. Absolutely genius. And we can actually have glass up here. We can put it like a glass, piece of glass right there. And I know it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it'll get the job done. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to get the job done. Um, in the water, I'm going to go ahead and actually place that there. And that there. Right? And then I need a way up. You can go. Bye-bye. All right, let's grab some water. And let's see if this works. So what I can do is actually have the water source here. And that would leave this fine. Right? So let's... No, no. That's... No, no. I... Give me that back. Give me, give me that back. That is not what I wanted to do. I can't... These get waterlogged. I cannot believe that is a feature, but that is totally a thing. Place it there. <laughs> Will that prevent that water source? Will it go away? Oh, come on. That piece of water will not go away solely because our water was there. There we go. Now I can place that. And then I can place one over here. And we should get some bubble column action going on, right? Is that wor is that working? So this should bring us down. No? Did I do it wrong? Does it have to be a larger area? I thought one it has to be source blocks, doesn't it? It does. It has to be source water. Huh. Now that, that's going to be a challenge. Um, is filling this with source blocks of water. Hmm. Hmm, that is a thing. Let's see if I can't go down here. Place a piece of water down here. Okay, so yeah, that is not going to work. That is not going to work. <laughs> not at all. We need this whole thing to be source, and if it is source, we're going to have a leaking problem. I think that this is actually going to cause a bit of a leak. How in the world are you doing? Why? How? How did that even happen? All right, let's, let's try this. Let's go down one. Right here. Right here's our issue. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hold shift. There we go. So we placed it right here. We place that one there. Look what happens. Right? So, what we're going to need is potentially something lining this wall. And what will line a glass wall? I I mean, we could use any any measure of things. I mean, f fence would work. As long as we're not placing it in a source block, it would work. Ladders also work. Uh, we could try more ladders. Uh, will ladders attach to glass? I don't... That one I don't know. No. So we'll have to go with fence of some sort. Now we could... I think cobblestone fence or stone fence would work. Stone brick. We could try that. Let's try some stone brick fence. Oh wait, this is not modded Minecraft. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Is that a... Is that not a, is that not a vanilla thing? I thought there was more f fence... I, I guess not. Wow. I'm I'm completely out of it. Anyways. <laughs> let's just use cobblestone fence then. I mean, because that's a thing. But first, I'm going to go ahead and sleep because it is dark. I don't want drowns trying to kill me. After a lot of trial and error, I think I've finally gotten this thing to look decent and actually function. Oh, that, that piece right here does not want to work for me. And that's where I, I want it the most. But yeah, this, this is what I've been dealing with. So I've, I've had issues with the water. Wanting to spill out. And I've tried everything to keep a, like a, a small block in the center. And nothing seems to work other than putting a solid block there. But if I put a solid block there, then I won't be able to get to the actual column of water. 
itself. So, that's where I've come up with this little setup here. And I can't prevent this from being like this unless I use like half slabs or something weird like that. Like that might actually work. And that'll give me enough to where this will actually disappear? Potentially? Like if I put glass here, let's try this. If I put one piece of glass here. If I put a half slab there, I won't actually be able to like walk there. So like if I put a half slab here, that will kind of get rid of most of this stuff. But I'll need to open this up and then have half slabs down here and kind of just open this whole thing up to half slabs. Like that is, that would work. This would actually work. Uh, we are left with this half slab, which will all probably be changed. Like we could, we could replace this and make this look like wood. Get, make it look all nice and tidy and neat. Just like that. But yeah, this is... This is the only issue that I'm having with trying to get this to work properly. It just it doesn't seem like it wants to, to do what it's meant to do. But this works. Look at that. Look at this. This elevator is so fast. And this is not the fastest. But it gets the job done. I think it's faster than a ladder. It's definitely faster than a ladder. Uh, we just need to figure out how to get this to function properly. And I think having slabs here is like a no-go for me. I don't I don't like that. Look, even though technically this would be better off that way. <laughs> this is a mess. This is a mess. Some of the water mechanics is like it's just super confusing for me trying to figure out these new water mechanics. But I will learn them eventually. I will get used to them. I will get used to them. They will work eventually. I will make sure of that. But this is going to be the best way for me to get around down here. And I, I hope you guys think it looks okay. I hope you guys think it looks okay. It is not the best, but it will it will get the job done, definitely. So right here, let's put a half slab. There we go. That at least makes things look a little bit uh, neater. Um, and yeah, we kind of have like a little thing that even pushes us out, I guess. I guess you could look at it that way. Pushes us out. We could even do it this way. Put a slab here. And that will make it even smoother of a transition, right? So we go down, choose our path. This shoots us way up. So high, it even takes us up above this block level. Wow. And I think if we hold shift, we go a little bit faster down here. The down is nowhere near as fast as the up. The up is just ridiculous. I love it. I love it so much. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, Chosen Plays, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also ring that notification bell. That helps out tremendously, guys. And uh, also click that like button. You guys know what that like button does. It really makes me happy whenever I see a bunch of likes on the videos. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, thanks for watching.